Uh, here's something else that's happening, a digital market. So the traders in Ruddington usually hold a market, but they can't at the moment. Oh, and it's lovely. They've got all sorts of fancy food. It's really nice. Uh, so the bakers, the butchers, the vegetables, the jams and the chutneys, it's a lovely market, but they can't do it in real, so they're doing it online. Bit of an update on how they're doing it now. Mark Pink's on the radio on BBC Radio Nottingham. Morning, Mark. Morning, hi. Hello. How does a virtual hi. market work? Well, um, yeah, as you say, we normally run a market in Ruddington uh, once a month. Um, we have about over 30 sort of great artisan stalls. And uh, we just kind of got to thinking, well, what can we do for the great sort of independent shops on the high street while we're, we're closed, really? What can we do with our social media to sort of help them out? Um, so we decided we'll have an Instagram Live uh, event uh, tomorrow. And uh, we're going to go live with a few of those great independent shops. Uh, around the high street, a few market stalls, a couple of pubs, cafes, and uh, see what they're up to, get to go behind the scenes and have a chat, and people can ask questions and um, should be interested. And hopefully buy some stuff. So are these... and hopefully buy some stuff, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> will people be in their own individual premises or at home, or how will it work? Yeah, there's a bit of a mixture, really. So we've got uh, we've got a flower shop who normally stands at the market. She's going to be at the shop uh, demonstrating making a bouquet for us. Um We've got a cafe next door. She stands at the market too normally. She's going to be demoing how she makes her um, kind of quite popular uh, Bombay Scotch eggs. Um, in a bit of a mixture, really, as I say, we've got uh, a barber shop who's not open at the moment for obvious reasons, but um, he's going to be joining us from his home and uh, showing how to cut your own hair. So well, um, We all need that, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, quite a mixture, really, and um, we'll have to wait and see how it goes. <laughs> How worried are these people who would normally stand at markets as a as a make, way of making a living? Yeah, it's it's uh, tough times. Um, you know, obviously some businesses have carried on and they've had to adapt and um, evolve to, to the sort of the changing situation. Um, but inevitably, some have had to close, and um, you know, it is uh, sort of touch and go really. Um, so we, as the market, we're doing as all that we possibly can to try and support them through it really, and hope that they come out the other side. Mm, it's a great idea, and I think it'll be good to watch as well. But before you go, what's a Bombay Scotch egg? <laughs> uh, yeah, Black Cat Cafe, Julie, she makes some delicious Scotch eggs. Um, some uh, breakfast Scotch eggs, which, which I've had, and they're great. Bombay Scotch eggs have got a bit of a kick to them. Um, and she does some fantastic sausage rolls as well, which I highly recommend. Oh, I've seen, now you mention it, I've seen them. They're, they're like the size of a cricket ball, aren't they? Those yeah, Scotch eggs. Yeah, they're, mm. they are, they're pretty big, yeah. Ooh, yeah. So where can we find you tomorrow for the digital market? Yeah, so we're on Instagram. It's um, at Ruddington Village Market, or one word. Um, so just tap on the icon at uh, midday and uh, start watching. Hope it goes well. Thank you, Mark. It's a Thank great you. idea. Okay. Yeah, people are very creative, aren't they? Mark Pink's uh, on the Ruddington uh, Village Market online, the digital one. 29 minutes to eight now. 